Inside an industrial workshop, a wide sheet feeds into a textile or composite processing machine, and the moving material suddenly takes control. Never ever stand within the drawn zone while material is moving. Keep distance and use guides or supports to control flexible sheets. Powered rollers pull material through, and once the sheet is moving, it can transmit force like a conveyor. If it shifts, tightens, or catches at the intake, friction plus motor torque can trigger a rapid draw-in toward the roller intake zone. Faster than balance and reaction can recover. Flexible material can become the force, control the feed path, keep separation from the intake, and treat the draw-in zone as a strict no-go area. At a busy roadside fueling area, a worker checks a tanker truck. Then, in an instant, stored energy violently releases. Never, ever position yourself on or above a tanker when pressure, flammable vapor, or unknown internal conditions may exist at all. Assume the vessel can release energy without warning. Tankers can find liquid and vapor. If heat, ignition, or overpressure develops, energy can discharge through vents, fittings, ruptures, or structural failure. Expanding gases accelerate outward, converting chemical energy into force and motion in a split second. That pressure wave can arrive long before obvious cues like smoke or a sound signal of trouble. Tankers are energy containers, not platforms. When conditions are uncertain, step back. Distance is protection. At an active construction site, a crane lifts heavy equipment from a trailer and the balance of the entire system suddenly collapses. Never, ever lift or transfer heavy loads without verified ground stability, load control, and clear exclusion zones. Cranes can overturn faster than visual warning allows. Mobile cranes depend on a precise balance between load weight, boom angle, ground support, and counterweight. When a suspended load shifts or the center of gravity moves beyond the crane's stability envelope, gravity instantly takes over. The rotational force exceeds what the outriggers and chassis can resist, causing a rapid overturn driven purely by mass and leverage. Cranes don't fail slowly, they tip decisively. If balance is uncertain, distance is the only safe response. In a busy freight yard, a flatbed worker prepares to drop cargo from above while the ground level zone is still active. Never, ever release or drop anything from a flatbed until you have positive confirmation the ground below is clear. Use an agreed signal, a spotter, and a defined exclusion zone. Dropping an object from a height is an energy event. Gravity converts elevation into speed immediately, and even a small item gains momentum rapidly. The real control point isn't strength, it's space management. If the drop zone isn't locked down, the object becomes an uncontrolled projectile on a vertical path. Flatbed work also creates blind spots. Stacked cargo blocks, sight lines, engine noise, and yard activity mask verbal warnings. And people naturally move through the same narrow corridors around the truck. That's why I yelled is not a control. Verification is. A spotter or a clear hand signal system turns a guess into a confirmed safe condition before release. Before anything goes down, the ground must be clear, confirmed, not assumed. Control the drop zone or you don't control the drop. In a narrow loading aisle beside a vehicle, a heavy hinged mechanism starts moving and the corridor becomes a swing zone in a heartbeat. Never ever activate a lift gate, door, ramp, or any hinged hydraulic mechanism until the sweep path and drop zone are confirmed clear and the motion is controlled start to finish. A large hinged panel moves in a wide arc and the outer edge can travel fast even when the hinge looks slow. If it strikes a fixed post or structure, the force path can shift, supports can misalign, and part of the mechanism can transition from guided to unsupported. Then gravity drops the mass into the aisle immediately with no time buffer. If it swings, it owns the space. Clear the path, control the motion, and keep walkways out of the sweep zone. In a narrow residential lane, a ladder is set against a utility pole and the air suddenly ignites with electrical energy. Never ever work from a ladder near energized electrical lines unless power is confirmed isolated and minimum approach distances are enforced. Electricity does not forgive proximity. Overhead, electrical lines store continuous energy even when they appear quiet. 
when a conductive object, tool, ladder, or human body enters the electric field around an energized line, the air itself can ionize. That ionization creates an electrical arc, allowing current to jump across open space without direct contact. In this moment, the arc releases energy as heat, light, and expanding plasma. The blast force and visual flash happen instantly, far faster than balance can be corrected on a ladder. At height, even a small external force or reflexive movement shifts the center of gravity beyond stability, and gravity immediately takes over. The ladder does not fail. The environment does. Overhead lines aren't just wires. They're an invisible hazard zone with reach. Before a ladder goes up, the job needs a boundary. Identify the line, set minimum approach distance, and keep the ladder, tools, and your body out of that space at every moment. If you can't guarantee separation, the only safe step is to stop and have the power isolated by the utility. Because once electricity finds a path, it happens faster than anyone can react. At a dusty worksite, a quiet tanker sits under pressure, and then something gives way. Never, ever stand near a pressurized dry bulk tank during loading, unloading, or agitation unless pressure limits, vents, and relief paths are verified. Stored pressure can release without warning. Dry bulk tankers rely on internal air pressure to move material. When airflow is restricted, material bridges or vents fail to relieve pressure. Energy builds inside the tank. If the internal pressure exceeds the structural capacity of a hatch or weak point, that energy releases instantly. The compressed air expands outward, entraining fine powder and ejecting it at high velocity, creating a dense cloud that behaves like a fluid surge rather than a slow spill. Pressurized tanks don't leak, they release energy. If dry material is being moved by air, pressure control is the real hazard. Distance, vent integrity, and pressure verification are the only safeguards between routine handling and uncontrolled release. Inside an unfinished high-rise, a massive glass panel is guided into place, and for a split second, everything seems perfectly still. Never ever position people inside the failure plane of large glass panels during installation. Glass stores hidden stress and can release it without warning. Large architectural glass panels behave like rigid energy plates under tension. During installation, uneven support, twisting forces, point contact, or slight frame misalignment can introduce internal stress that is invisible from the outside. Tempered or laminated glass may appear stable right up until its stress threshold is exceeded. When that threshold is crossed, failure propagates at the speed of sound through the panel. Stored elastic energy is released instantly, and the glass transitions from a single structure into a collapsing mass driven by gravity. Because the release is structural, not impact-based, there is no gradual warning, vibration, or audible cue before failure begins. The danger zone is not just the panel itself, but the entire plane it occupies. Anyone standing within that plane is exposed to sudden material movement the moment internal balance is lost. Glass doesn't fail slowly. It fails all at once. Control support points keep clear of the failure plane and never assume stability just because nothing is moving. Between two trucks, a mechanic stands on a narrow metal rod to loosen a wheel bolt, and everything soon goes wrong. Never, ever apply high torque to wheel bolts while standing on an unstable or improvised support. Secure footing must come before force. Loosening a wheel bolt takes high torque, so your body has to push hard against the wrench. Standing on a narrow, round metal rod gives you a tiny contact patch and low friction, and the rod can flex or roll under sideways load. As the bolt finally breaks free, resistance drops suddenly and the force you're applying turns into unwanted body movement. In the tight space between trucks, there's no room to step or brace, so a small shift can push your center of gravity outside your support base and gravity takes over. Torque magnifies instability. If the surface beneath your feet can move, roll, or flex, the force you apply will move you instead. Build solid footing first, then break the bolt loose. In a cluttered scrap yard, a heavy load sits quietly while welding begins nearby, but the unexpected happens. Never, ever weld, cut, or apply heat near unsecured or stacked loads. Thermal stress and vibration can shift mass without warning. 
Large stacked materials rely on friction and alignment to remain stable. Welding introduces both vibration and localized heat, which can reduce friction, relax contact points, and slightly deform supports. Even small changes are enough to move the center of gravity in an already uneven stack. Once the center of mass shifts past its support base, gravity acts immediately. The load does not tip slowly or correct itself. It rotates and falls in the direction of least resistance. In scrap environments, irregular shapes and mixed materials make these shifts unpredictable and fast. Heavy loads don't need a push, just a change. Before welding starts, secure the stack, clear the zone, and remove gravity from the equation.